good morning guys uh thank you for always coming back here to watch um, our content i really appreciate and this period while i'm trying to sort myself yeah so thank you very much so um there's this thing has been on my mind for a very long time and i've been trying i've been shying away from from talking about it i've been shying away from doing the content but um keeps coming back to my mind that i need to talk about it so i'll be talking about the power of our minds how powerful our minds are and um, you know most times we we don't actually know how powerful these minds are you know what i mean by our minds right so um okay so um i've established over this you know long period i've been following my content how audacious um i was as a child and i experimented with everything that i saw um you know i experimented you know so um growing in the wood there was this neighbor of ours um a child of uh an alpha or a large you know very dedicated muslim guy you get and all of a sudden he became an herbalist a traditional worshiper not that i had a problem with that because i as a christian as a child um i had muslim friends i used to drink on to i used to go to Ileke. so not one of those people that would say yeah you're a christian you shouldn't move close to other people or you shouldn't relate with traditional worshippers so um he's he switched and became a traditional worshipper um, ordinarily people stayed away from him but i became inquisitive because i noticed that you know the same place that we used to go to play became you know places that i put his god and all of that and um i grew i became closer you know i started going to his place i watched him do some of his things you know uh, i watched him attend to his clients and I saw how he did some of his things, you born lizard, add some things to it and you know, born and you know, put ring inside it and just give it to them and they come back with testimonies. So something struck me that probably um this um thing that this guy is doing has to do with our minds because I'm wondering how can you put lizard and some powder and some things and pull ring and say someone will carry it and if he touches a woman the woman will start following following him I'm like dude or put it your business will sell I'm like really man really so so I decided to experiment on my own so I picked up um, a wood a, a log of wood on the floor and I said to the wood so you this wood anytime you are in my pocket once i get to school i went to a public school public secondary school once i get to school no matter the time i get to school let nobody stop me <laughs> crazy right so i did it got to school it's 30. they stopped some people for whatever reason they didn't stop me I was like, okay, I think this is just a coincidence. Second day, I got to school, 8.40. Nobody stopped me. And they were beating some people. So I tried it. And I realized, that, okay, yeah, I think this is done. So I, I picked up um, a stone and said to this stone, that anytime you are in my pocket, once they are flogging me, even if 100 people flog me, I must not feel the pain. Yeah, you guess, yeah, you guess right. It worked. I put the stone in my pocket and they will beat. I will just be there, just be smiling. They will beat. I will not feel anything. Then I realized that no matter what, be you a Christian, a pagan, worshiper, Muslim, whoever you are, what is actually seen, what you see manifesting most of the time is just your mind whatever battle you win or you lose you lose it first in your mind before it materializes whatever battle you win you win first in your mind before it materializes whatever creation you've seen today the beautiful houses you've built the companies you've 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 um, developed the successes you've have, um, attained these things must first 
um, happen in your mind before you start seeing them in reality. So whatever the situation around you is, whatever the situation, no matter how bad the situation is, please guard your mind with jealousy. Guard it with jealousy, with all diligence. Make sure nothing infiltrates it. Once you lose a battle in your mind, you have lost it. Once you win a battle in your mind, you have won the battle. No matter how bad and terrible the adversaries are, the moment you win a battle in your mind, you have won the battle. Even if your mind is as crazy as saying you want to be the president of this country. Crazy, right? But if your mind can, if you can be focused, not distracted, and no doubt in your mind, you can. You get. So it's just, our physical world is just a result of our mind and the spiritual world. The spiritual world is what our mind actually communicates and connects with. Have a wonderful day, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. God bless.